Well, Borderlands comes out in the movie theaters and completely tanks. Who saw this coming? Who saw this coming? I don't think there was anybody on YouTube that said that the movie was going to tank so badly that it just felt like it was tired and without feeling. Oh, wait, that was... Of course I said these things. The, you know, when you have movies being adapted from video games, in a lot of ways, they will never they will never succeed. You know, then you get the outlaw outcrying movies like Super Mario Brothers, which does amazingly well. But Borderlands, when I saw the trailer, it, it did not scream to me like it was going to be a good movie. It felt it felt like it was without feeling and they were just going through the motions to make a movie based on Borderlands for the sake of doing it and not to keep the fan service alive. Well, what is Forbes saying about this? Well, Borderlands bombs with $8.8 .8 million weekend, a fourth place debut. Oh my God. It's like video game movies. We're back to the, to the poor video game movies that just will not succeed. The Borderlands movie is the latest video game adaptation attempting to make its mark on an era of the so-called curse of the genre has been broken by other films and shows that did not go as planned, and now being panned by critics and audiences, the film has arrived with the problematic fourth place debut at the U.S. box office. The huge success story of the Blake's Lively It Ends Well, I've never even heard of this, doubling its $25 million budget in the U.S. Uh, well, that's, here's the thing, you're going to spend $20, $25 million on a movie that has a half-decent storyline, of course it's going to make money. People are going to be like, I want to see that because it looks good. But Borderlands, what was the, what was the Borderlands movie projection or how much did they spend on that movie it's absolutely astronomical and a quick google search tells us 110 to 120 million dollars to make the borderlands movie well of course of course you got some big name actors in there like jamie lee curtis so of course they got to pay them out but obviously this was the type of movie that shouldn't have been starstruck that shouldn't have had well-known people in the industry doing it it should have been all nobodies and it probably would have succeeded a lot better behind a director that could have told the story a lot better. But instead, it just sits there and does nothing. Oh, PC Gamer now, now saying they got 16 million globally. Ugh, that's really not close to, not close to hitting the break-even mark saying at 16 million. That's just the start of the break-even mark. That's not even fully out there because then you've got to add in marketing you got to add in everything else in there and it just this movie completely plummeted well let's go over to our fan favorite site of rotten tomatoes where the critics have given it zero how does a movie open at a zero if you go into all critics they at least gave it a nine percent wow that's impressive nine percent for this movie the verified audience members at 52% and all audience members giving it a rotten 37%. You know, it's almost as if people could have said something about this and said, absolutely do not make this movie because it will perform poorly. Well, at least they've got another tax write off. You know, when Sonic the Hedgehog did that and came out with Ugly Sonic, at least the internet was able to step up and say, you make this, it's going to fail. Uh, they redid Sonic and made him look absolutely amazing in the new version of it and really went back to form. And now they're into a third movie. That's another one of these movies that has been a video game adaptation gone to the big theater. But this one in particular, Borderlands, I tell ya, it was no, I, I didn't think it would do very well in the first place. What are the reviews saying here? Right as Hollywood has started to learn how to successfully adapt games to the screen, Borderlands <laughs> arrives to remind us how not to do it. That means it's probably injected with everything nobody ever asked for, and it's supposed to be absolutely ridiculous jokes, and they just fail to hit. Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm sorry, $120 million for this budget, and you put in all of these actors that are probably each asking for $20 million just to be in there. I mean, 
the movie was destined to fail. There was no six recipe for success in this movie in the first place. This, uh, it's more like what Jumanji was in that sense, but now we have it in Borderlands and it just, it, we all knew it was going to fall flat on its face. And here we are looking back at it and going, well, that was Borderlands. I guess we'll see you next time when they try to actually make a movie. Anyway, I'm your Prod Canadian Phoenix in a Shadow. I'm signing off here. I know this is a little bit of a short one, but it wasn't that big of a topic. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Has anyone done anything on Amazon for the for the channel? Because I am kind of beside myself trying to figure out something going on here and it's eating me alive somebody somebody step up and let me know if they've done something um so i can be expecting something i have no clue i think right now amazon is playing a cruel joke on me and i'm going to leave it at that of course if you are the one person that knows what i'm talking about own it and let me know in the discord don't forget to sign up with the Discord if this is also your first time here.